Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. Hello, everyone. Back after a short summer break. This time around, the question comes from Mike Goddard, who says, is it possible to apply keyboard shortcuts to adjustment layers? And happily, the answer is yes. And this is actually a really cool idea because for many of us, one of the first shortcuts we learn is adjustments like Command or Control L for levels. There's levels. Or Command or Control M for curves. But the problem with those shortcuts is, of course, they lead to the destructive version. So if I do levels here and click OK, that's a pretty final version. I would prefer to use a levels adjustment layer and do it that way. But the problem is there's not, by default, a keyboard shortcut for that. So the solution is to go to the Edit menu where you can edit your keyboard shortcuts. And what you're going to need to do is to go and find the adjustment layer. So here it's New under Layer. So I went to Layer in the Application Menus, Layer, and then go further down, New Adjustment Layer, Levels. So I come over here and I press Command or Control L. And it says, well, hold on now. This is already in use. It will be removed from image adjustments levels if accepted. And what you have to understand, and in this case, accept, as Adobe calls it, is no longer will the keyboard shortcut open levels. It will add an adjustment layer. So we click OK. Accept that. So from now on, if I press Command or Control L, it says, do you want a levels adjustment layer? And you'll still need to do a second click OK, but at least it means it's Command or Control L OK, and then you've got your adjustment layer. So as you can imagine, you could go to all the adjustment layers that you use, like curves and whatever, and change them from whatever the keyboard shortcut for the standard command. So control, the same thing here, Control or Command M, Accept, and then Hue Saturation is Command or Control U, and so on. So you do that. So from now on, if I want a curves adjustment layer, it's Command and Control M, OK. And now I've got my adjustment layer. So if you are like me and you really prefer to use adjustment layers all the time, that's a pretty nice way to do it. Pretty straightforward. Just remember, like a lot of things in Photoshop, keyboard shortcuts will stay the same unless you change them back. Now one way to very easily change them is to create a new workspace. Now workspaces Generally, people use them for the layout of your panels, but the other way you can do it is let's just do adjustment layer shortcuts and include the keyboard shortcut. So now I'll not only save this layout, but I'll also have a workspace. So if I ever did put my keyboard shortcuts back to the default, I could just choose this workspace and it would automatically change the shortcuts that I've included in this workspace. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.